Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to recalibrate the battery in an HP laptop. I'm going to do this on this uh, HP 550 and the uh, reasons for doing this uh, are few. Uh, for me, I changed the motherboard in this laptop. So this motherboard uh, has, has no idea how to treat the battery that is already in. It doesn't really know when it is completely full or completely discharged. I can give you an example. It uh, said it is charged in about half an hour and that is almost impossible. And uh, after that, although it was at 100%, uh, when I unplugged uh, the charger, uh, it went down really, really, really fast. And uh, it actually shut down. Uh, then I was able to restart it and it said it also, it still has 80% uh, battery and then it shut down again. So in reality you want to do this uh, when it seems that the battery is not working properly. It's not char charging correctly and it's not discharging correctly. It should be almost uh, linear. Of course it depends on how much you use your laptop at the moment, but it should be almost linear. So yeah, for this the first thing that you want is to let the battery charge to 100% until it says it is not charging anymore. So we will stop the video until this battery goes to 100% and stops uh, charging and we will continue after that. Okay, it's 100% charged, not charging anymore. I left it a little bit more after it was 100%. Now we unplug it and shut it down. After it will shut down, we want to go into the hard drive testing uh, part of the HP diagnostics by pressing F2 when it's booting up. Do not let it enter uh, Windows. Ok, it's testing uh, memory. In this case, uh, you press escape and it should let you, or actually I'm wrong, I'm sorry about that, ignore changes and exit, yeah, I was wrong a little bit, this is the first time I'm doing this thing, we must uh, it seems leave it uh, check the memory, but we want to go in the hard drive uh, self test. Uh, and the single thing, uh, single reason why we are doing this is to discharge the battery in the in a control environment outside Windows. So this is about the best option. I will come back when this is finished and we are able to go in hard drive test mode. This has started by itself, I didn't have to do anything and that is pretty perfect for me. And just another thing I want to tell you, it's good to, to do this calibration even if you don't have big problems with your battery but uh, you charge it pretty erratically, you charge it from 50% a lot of the times or stuff like that. You don't let it discharge uh, completely, almost never. Uh, modern batteries are able to, to do this without uh, having the memory effect that older batteries did. It's even better for a lithium battery not to be completely discharged. But uh, the problem is they eventually lose track of what it means to be 100% full and what it means to be completely empty. So by doing this 
you reteach the battery when it's full and when it's empty. This you should do, I don't know, once every few months or something like that. So yeah, we will let it do its thing. Uh, basically if it stops I'm going to restart it and do this until it uh, will not power on again and uh, we will continue from that. So it has uh, shut down. Let us just try and start it again. And it doesn't want to power on. You cannot see but uh, the battery LED is uh, flickering. So it clearly doesn't have uh, any power uh, anymore. One more try. Absolutely nothing, just the LED flickering. At this point you plug in the power uh, once again and let it fully charge. Uh, for this, maybe if you've had the, the laptop for a little bit longer time, you know how much it takes, 2 hours, 3 hours. Well, basically leave it uh, about uh, twice uh, that period. So I'm going to leave it, I don't really know how fast this charges, I'm going to leave it uh, 6 hours. Who knows, maybe even until tomorrow morning because I'm not going to, to use it. So I'm sure it is 100% fully charged. At this point I'm just going to, to power it on uh, into Windows and then uh, let it play a YouTube list for example, a playlist, uh, so it will not uh, shut down the display and it will drain slowly uh, until uh, it uh, enters uh, hibernate or, or sleep and then I'm going to force uh, power it on again until it goes down to zero and after that you can charge it to 100% once more and uh, it should be calibrated. For some newer uh, HP models you have uh, in the BIOS or in that uh, F2 menu you have the option to test the battery. That is really good for you because it will give you some uh, statuses. Is if it's failed, if it needs uh, calibrated, if it is uh, in okay condition. So uh, you could check that. Um, even if it says it's in okay condition, you could you can still cal try to calibrate it. Uh, it doesn't do any harm. And uh, if it says it needs calibrating, and you do these steps. Uh, twice in a row and it still says it needs uh, calibrating then yeah I'm sorry but that battery will not uh, not work good uh, probably never again so yeah that's about uh, that but uh, yeah we will continue after I leave this to to charge and give you the the final answers to see if this basically got better because like it was before it was unusable it would shut down whenever it uh, wanted to shut down without you being able to know if you still have battery left for 5-10 minutes or not so yeah we'll see how that goes it uh, finished charging the adapter is uh, cold the LED Although you cannot see it, uh, it's not lit anymore, so it's clearly not doing anything at the moment. Uh, I haven't left it uh, as long as I said. It finished uh, charging about one hour ago or something like that. So uh, if I leave it now, it will be pointless because it's clearly not doing anything. At this point, I will boot it up, let it uh, go into Windows. And as I said, uh, I will put uh, a playlist of YouTube videos uh, on and leave it uh, running until uh, the battery dry, uh, goes down to dies and goes down to zero, of course. But it will try to enter standby before the battery will be completely depleted. So I will start it up again and then let it go down uh, to zero for real. So that will be about it. I'm just curious what it will say 
about the battery at this point when Windows starts. It should say it is not charging, but yeah, we will see. And I think that is what it will say. Yep, fully charged. So uh, at this point I'm just going to let it a few seconds to load even the antivirus. I'm going to stop the video, this will take probably a little bit of time. Okay, I started uh, one of my playlists and as you can see fully charged. Unplugging the adapter. I'm going to go back to higher brightness and uh, basically let it run like this for as long as it is needed to, to shut down. We will continue after that. As you can see it is getting ready to shut down. It gives me about uh, 3 minutes. And uh, most likely any moment from now it will shut down. But yeah, <laughs> we are not going to wait for it on video. So I'll be back. It uh, just shut down. And uh, as you can see it's blinking, so it's basically in standby. And I'm going to force power it on again. And this time uh, it should go down to absolutely uh, nothing and should uh, shut down for good and I should not be able to power it on. If I am able to power it on again I will do so until it will not start again. As you can see it's at 0% uh, but it is still working. For how long? I do not know. It ran uh, in the end for more than 5 minutes on 0% so let's see if we can power it on again. And no, I'm, guess, I'm getting the flashing LED. Yeah, so it's 100% dead. At this point I'm going, uh, going to... Uh, luckily it didn't fall. I'm going to plug in the charger. Start it up. And this time I'm going to uh, let it boot into Windows and charge uh, while it's uh, inside Windows. And uh, basically this should be about it. But if uh, your battery is badly uh, decalibrated, maybe you should do more uh, uh, of these uh, cycles. Normally one or two it's about enough, on some batteries 3 or 4 cycles uh, may be needed. For me in this case I think I will need at least one or two because I changed the motherboard so it doesn't know this battery at all. So it needs to build up data about it. But if the battery would be bad then even if you do 4 or 5 Calibra calibration cycles you are stu still doing them uh, for nothing because it will not, he not help so yeah I think the maximum should be some four cycles if nothing changes <laughs> sorry but that is it so yeah as you can see it should be zero so it's clearly discharged fully and uh, yeah, hopefully this video uh, helped you and uh, you can uh, get your battery life back. So yeah, if you need to ask anything, feel free to ask in the comments, subscribe, uh, like the video and see you again next time. Bye. 
Just another thing, uh, if your battery doesn't start uh, charging uh, after it was uh, uh, discharged to zero, uh, shut down Windows, uh, wait for a while with the PC shut down and the charger plugged in and uh, your battery light will come on eventually and it will start charging. Then you can start your PC and when you enter Windows you can see it's plugged in 0% and it is charging. So yeah, if that happens to you, this is what you should do to fix it. So this time for real, thanks for watching, bye.